so in this uh, we have to see some advanced concepts of java that are not available in other languages uh, other languages i mean c and c++ because these were the previous languages uh, these concepts are available in advanced languages also for example c sharp they are they did though they have copied and pasted from the java but these concepts what i'm explaining now they are not available in previous programming languages and they are introduced only by java and one of the concept is abstract class this concept uh, and another we would be seeing is the interfaces in java interface in java so let's try to understand all of these two are related to inheritance and polymorphism only inheritance and polymorphism only so what is a abstract class students before we start a abstract class just one 30 seconds we will try to understand the keyword abstract itself and when i'm saying abstract it is not about the abstraction abstract is something which is vague how many of you have heard the word vague i think all of you have heard this word vague when we say something is vague some idea is vague or some concept is vague so what does it mean even some picture you you are looking at some picture and you say that yeah it is a vague picture so that means it is not clear it is not clear and it is not giving you any clear cut idea so vague keyword and the abstract keyword these two are the english words by the way they are similar when we are saying an abstract so things are not clear so let me ask you a one simple question you think you think yourself that i'm just writing this word shape because we are taking this example from two or three sessions last two or three sessions so what picture comes in your mind what pictures comes in your mind somebody may be thinking of a square somebody may be thinking of what a rectangle okay i am thinking of a circle somebody else is thinking of a triangle somebody else thinking of some other kind of a shape yes so when i'm saying just a shape picture is not clear everybody is thinking in a different way only so when just a shape is said so picture is not clear and this will be recorded as a abstract class because there are like infinite possibilities of the shape somebody can draw a like this somebody can draw a like this so every time you are drawing a shape a students you are drawing drawing a different shape somebody may be thinking of a, some random shape somebody who is very specific he will be thinking of that shape i am thinking of that shape yes so this is what a abstract concept so java is the first language which has introduced this concept of abstract classes when the picture is not clear or when the morphism part is not clear morphism is a face only face value is not clear we would make those classes as abstract classes right so see these examples all of these are shapes only all of these are shapes only yes all of these are shapes only and everybody is thinking of a different shape so what java will do actually java will make this shape class as abstract abstract what will happen as a result there are few things uh, or there are few functionalities which you are going to achieve if you are making this so right now at this point you know everything is vague everything at this point is vague students because you know shape is not clear so everything is vague now in this case it is clear in this case it is clear and in this case it is clear okay, you are talking about this thing only see this rectangle uh, which is a base class and a square which is the drive class now see another example abstract animal when i say just animal animal known thing of the animal movie i'm just talking about in a normal way so animal when i'm saying an animal what animal comes into your picture there are again infinite possibilities this sometimes this is a vague picture sometimes it, when i'm just saying an animal what animal comes in your picture no you don't have any specific answer for that now if this concept is captured as abstract we will achieve lot of functionalities in java abstract so what we will do here we will make the animal class as abstract class then from the animal class if you are driving a dog now the picture is clear just like you know a shape 
uh, is not clear and triangle and rectangles are clear now if you are saying a cat class again the picture is clear you're talking about a cat class but at this point animal class it is not clear it is not clear understood students then i'll give you the purpose and i'll give you the syntax and i'll i'll give you why the java is making uh, you know the concept why java is bringing the concept of abstract classes so abstract classes are classes that cannot be instantiated what is the meaning of instantiated object cannot be created yes so what is the meaning of cannot be instantiated object of abstract class cannot be created but uh, and this is true also when i'm saying a create an object of animal class what animal you are talking about guy I, i'm not clear about that and then if i'm saying just create a class of shape yes what shape you are talking about I, i'm not clear at all so what we will do we will make all these two or the similar things we will make it as a abstract class as a abstract class so as a result what will happen somebody will not be able to create the object if somebody is not going to create the object then what will be the advantage of that the advantage is the the advantages are there for example whatever the shape you will have i don't care whatever the shape you will have obviously one thing would be there it is going to be draw this is 100 percent sure yeah shape is not clear but this is sure that draw would be there and then area would be there and the parameter would also be there because any shape you are drawing there is an area and any shape you are drawing like this also there is a parameter the starting point and the ending point so these things would be there and then the purpose they allow sub classes to provide the implementation for the abstract methods that thing you have to see what is a abstract method also so abstract method is some special method then what about the syntax of this class abstract class syntax is like this just in place just before the class what you would write students the abstract so if you are writing the animal class abstract or the shape class abstract you will write like this abstract class and then shape and then shape now here you can define the common thing what are the common things students obviously area would be there whatever the shape would be parameter would be there whatever the sh shape would be and the draw function will also be there similarly in case of animal whatever the animal would be there the size must be there the color must be there common properties must be there and whatever the animal would be there he is going to eat and he is going to breathe so common functionalities would be there but as a result what will happen somebody cannot or somebody will not be able to create the object of this abstract class then when we are using this we, we are using this when we have some partial implementation now you can understand what i'm talking about the, uh, about this partial partial implementation part so if you want to provide a common base class with some shared functionalities but leave the certain methods to define by sub classes example the base animal class may have a common methods like sleep well, uh, like i'm saying then there is a function common eat function also so every animal eat uh, uh, each every, every animal eats and then sleep also and then breathe also so these common things you can put it methods like sound make sound or sound also you can define in this uh, uh, you know base animal class and you are making this abstract but when you are saying creation of the objects object creation is not allowed then you can drive from the animal class like dog or the cat now these are the concrete classes on which you can create the object on which you can create the object so go ahead and see when to use the abstract classes when you want when you want specifically instantiating prevention of the instantiate uh, instantiation what is the instantiation students it's the creation of the objects so you want to stop the programmers and the developers so that they cannot create the objects of this class so you would put it this abstract class so if you want to create a super class that should not be instantiated what is the meaning of instantiated object cannot be created directly but is mean to serve a blueprint for the sub classes so it is giving a, a you know a guidelines or a direction for the sub classes example again should not be 
shape class should not be instantiated why should not be instantiated like this like this what kind of a shape you are talking about i'm not sure so we are stopping here but a shape like circle exactly like a circle you can create exactly like a rectangle now you can create these shapes so this can be instantiated key characteristics noted down carefully the first and the main characteristics of this object of abstract class cannot be created this is the main you know the thing can have both abstract methods what are abstract methods it is without body we are coming to that also and non abstract methods non abstract methods are with body so abstract class and abstract methods are you know the clear cut invention of what a java and java is the first language which is using which is using abstract class and abstract methods and the third point is is this abstract methods must be implemented by non abstract sub class and abstract classes can have constructors but they can only be called by subclasses this is you know a, a a confusing point if you are giving the constructors then why you are not permitting so the the answer is pretty simple actually you want some common functionalities to be transferred to the drive classes constructors that's why you give the constructors you give you can give the constructors but still they are not going to be called okay then let's see one uh, one practical example and this example is there in java so we have a number class in java okay just like a string class we have studied there is a number class but this number class in java is abstract as a result what will happen you will not be able to create the number class object because number is a vague term what kind of a number you are talking about are you talking about double are you talking about a float are you talking about integer long integer short integer big integer big decimal there are a lot of lot of possibilities students so what you are talking about so at this point it is not clear so we i am stopping and java is stopping from this how java is stopping is this you cannot create the number class right instead you can have a double class which is a concrete class and then you can create the uh, object of the this class double or float this is called a concrete class concrete class let me give you uh, uh, this thing also there is one thing called abstract class for which the object cannot be created and it is used for the inheritance purpose and there is a concrete class concrete class means the object can be created let me give you this example also so that you will understand animal what animal comes in your mind the picture is not clear but when i'm saying a when i'm saying uh, uh, let's say a cat so cat is clear and when you are saying a canine also the picture is not clear what canine you are talking about are you talking about a wolf are you talking about a dog are you talking about a fox or are you talking about something else so there are different possibilities for that but when you are saying what when you are saying a dog the picture is clear okay the picture is clear so it's just a classification so it would be abstract class it would be abstract class and this would also be the abstract class and all the other classes like a lion class or the cat class or the tiger class they are concrete classes they are concrete classes so in java library students you will find lot of abstract classes one of the abstract classes in java library is this number class many other abstract classes you will also find in java and now i'm coming to the abstract method also students let, let us quickly understand the abstract method also so what is an abstract method as i said which has no body no body and how can you write a abstract method in java you just write the signature part signature part so this syntax is a quite weird syntax if you are just looking at the first time because just after eat which is the function name i'm closing this and in other cases i should give a body but the body is not given in this case so this method will become what abstract as a result a lot of things will happen and always remember this diagram this diagram i have taken from your standard book and they are giving us some clear cut diagram and so that with these diagrams the concepts are understood clearly so in abstract method there is a head only but there is no body only the head part is there there is no body and how would you write in java you would write like this public abstract void eat and straight away you would write the semicolon and this thing is not possible student this thing is not at all possible in c and c++ c++ c is 
obviously it's not an object oriented language but in c++ also it is not possible abstract functions are not there in that so okay students so we come here at the code part that we are doing for the inheritance and for the polymorphism so from this abstract class concept what we have understood then we are saying a shape so shape is a vague thing yes shape is a vague thing so we don't know what shape we are talking about are you talking about circle or are you talking about triangle or are you talking about some uh, you know a random shape so the shape is not clear at this point so what we will do we will we will make this class as abstract and how you can make this class abstract just by putting the keyword abstract now public abstract class shape and every functionality is same every functionality is same so now in this case double area is there because every shape must have the area and every shape must have the parameter also so absolutely no problem and every shape is going to be draw also uh, because without drawing a shape there would be no shape so drawing is required so there is this function draw also but in a main class what will happen if you are trying to create the object of this shape class the java is stopping you and how java is stopping you java is saying you cannot instantiate the type shape java because it's a abstract class cannot instantiate Yes, so Java is stopping you at this point. So uh, whenever you will try to create the object, whenever you will try to create the object, Java will stop you and it will say that you cannot create the objects. So I cannot create this object. So I have to do like this, and then I have to comment out this also. But one thing I would like to tell you at this point, that if triangle, let's say there is a triangle, and you don't have this function. draw in this so you will be commenting out this function draw in triangle draw in triangle now if you go back to the main and here you have called the draw function what do you think what will happen as a result okay let us let me show you the circle is specialized circle draw function is there but in triangle we don't have draw function so what will happen as a result so you see i think there is no problem so it is giving the correct output circle is drawing but in case of a triangle it is saying that shape is drawing but as a matter of fact this statement is also true because triangle is ultimately a shape so what my point is students you can write a common code in any base class and this class is abstract class so any common co code you can write it in a abstract class also but you will not be able to instantiate the object of this abstract class i think the point is clear okay thank you very much students for your interest and thank you very much for attending this okay students Bye.